Hi guys, welcome to We Play Harry Potter News 9. Today is the 1st of July, and would you believe, in exactly two weeks' time, Deathly Hallows Part 2 comes out, bringing with it more video games. I, for one, am very excited and really looking forward to seeing the new movie, and of course, playing new games. A bit of random trivia, the eight Harry Potter movies have all been released within ten years, that's 2001 to 2011, and the seven books have also been released within ten years, from 1997 to 2007. Also, the Deathly Hallows book came out on 7th of July 2007, so 777, weird, huh? Oh yeah, you might remember I said that this week's background news video was going to be Philosopher's Stone on PS2 as requested by Voices from the Dark. Well the bad news is, I lost the game. I'm really, really sorry about that. I really hope I find it soon. And now you're watching me play Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 on the Wii. And it also happens to be the first time I'm playing it. And my very first Harry Potter game on the Wii. Anyway, let's get on with Let's Play Updates. We don't have me this week. Um, Mr. Creator Gamer 13 has started his Deathly Hallows Part 1 Let's Play on PS3. And the first two parts are up now, both of which are about 25 minutes long. It looks so far so good, so please go check it out. Jake's Problem has completed his Let's Play for Philosopher's Stone on Game Boy Color. Liz and Eric's series have added two more parts to their Let's Play of Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 on the Wii, aka the game I'm playing now. So now we're up to part 38 on that. Mad as Moody has added four more parts to his. No, not four, two, sorry, two more parts to his Let's Play of Deathly Hallows Part 1 on the Wii, bringing us to part four. And Films and Things 997 has added two more parts to Prisoner of Azkaban on Xbox. And we're now on part 23. Wow, I could have sworn that was like the shortest mention of Let's Play updates ever. I'm not going to bother doing the top three Let's Plays either. Because nothing's really changed from last week. Hopefully next week we'll get a lot more Let's Play updates. Well, not next week. You're going to find out why in a minute. Um... Our main inspiration, the Let's Play Brigade, has two more members, so they now have 55 members in all. Please, please join, as it's a brilliant idea, and it was what inspired me to create We Play Harry Potter in the first place. If you haven't joined already, you'll need to go to Let's Play Brigade V2, a link is in the description. And with regards to the channels I've inspired, Mr. Crazy Gamer 13 Sonic channel, We Play Sonic Games, has its first news announcement up. I also noticed he's doing the same thing as me, where you can request what game will be in the background of the news videos. Also, the news announcements for We Play Sonic Games will be on Mondays, so keep a watch out for them. It's doing really well. Now has seven members, including me. So if you play Sonic Games, why not check it out and join? The Formula One Gamers channel, The Almighty 2, which was created by Mr. BB256, is also doing well with 11 members, well technically 13 if you count the owner and the co-owner. And finally the Simpsons Gamers channel, Shane Productions Rules, which was created by the Walkthroughs PS3, is also doing a great job. It now has 8 members, well 10 if you count the owner and the co-owner. And the third news announcement is up. All the channels I mentioned should have a link in the description. That's it for now. Just to let you know, tomorrow I am going on holiday, or vacation, depending on where you're from. I will be away until next Saturday, which is the 9th of July, so there will not be a news announcement on Friday the 8th. Also, when I come back, I'll have a few college assignments to do, so we play Harry Potter News 10. Won't be back until the um, 15th of July, aka the same day that Deathly Hallows Part 2 comes out. And it will have an intro on it as well. It'll probably be um, Quidditch World Cup on Game Boy Advance, as Mr. Crazy Gamer 13 requested. Unless I find the game for Philosopher's Stone on PS2. I don't know yet. It'll definitely be one of those two games, though. And so I'll see you in two weeks' time, then. As always, please request the game you want me to see it 
in a future news announcement video. The list of Harry Potter games I own is in the description. Also, please follow WPHP Games on Twitter. And yeah, I'll see you for now.